Alright, so on this, hopefully you guys are not feeling too overwhelmed with this single, uh, I'm sorry, synthesis and uh, decomposition are the hard ones. So I always start with them. Yeah, because literally, you got what you need. Check out. First thing you hear, I've given you what you really need in order to be able to do the other successfully. So, what I've given to you is called an activity series for metals and non-metals. This is for single replacement. Now, do you think I'm going to give this to you on a quiz? Yes. yes. Yeah. Actually, I am. <laughs> I was going to say, because Mr. Hall, we, all, we both know, and everybody else knows, that your favorite thing to ever say. He was number one. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, yeah, he I love Jesus. I mean, that, yeah. <laughs> okay, maybe like your second favorite thing to say. No, probably third. Because you love Mary Pippin, so you probably say that first. Put a second on this. No, once you learn it, don't forget it. Don't forget it. That's it. It's horrible. It's worse than it. Okay. So look. This thing is actually built to make life easier for you. Okay? Now, literally what you see, this is what will happen. On your quiz, there will be a periodic table on the front and on the back will be the activity series. It'll look like this. So nobody freaks out. Okay? Literally, what you see is what you get. So even over there in the right-hand column, where it says decreasing activity, and it gives you the first group there. It says reacts with water and acid. Second group reacts with acids replacing hydrogen. Then you go down there to fairly unreactive, all those. Those will stay within it. I'm not going to take that out. It's there for you. Now, you need to understand how to use this. Okay? On this, it's spelled out for you. The higher it is, the more active it is. Okay, so we're going to deal with single replacement. Everybody behave today. So in this, remember what single replacement is. Single replacement is the uh, jacked up, messed up relationship that takes place that you got this lovely couple here that love each other and the next thing you know, it's like X is talking to A behind B's back and they're like, yo, B, we're through. And then B's over here, all by himself. I want to be the Uh. Okay, so in this, here's the overview of how this reaction takes place. Here's the important aspect. This is different. It's not going to be so focused on breaking it down into uh, the, like, the five separate categories like we did for synthesis and then we did for decomposition. This one is more focused within uh, that activity series. So it uses activity series. That's what I'm saying. This will take place of it. You're literally going to use this activity series to tell whether or not this reaction will take place, whether or not uh, it won't. I mean, it'll literally spell it out for you. So, this 
So, use this activity series to determine. if reaction will take place or will happen and what the products are. So that paper I gave you is literally what you're going to be using in order to determine this. Now this, I literally want to work with you guys and get you to where um, you're feeling comfortable with this and you see how this works. Alright? So I want to work a couple. So figuring out how to work it. <coughs> Mr. Hall is interested in doing this reaction. This, Mr. Hall is interested in doing this reaction between zinc metal <coughs> and copper two sulfate. Give Mr. Hall a properly written chemical equation for this reaction. And that's the way I can work it, because in this, you have to notice something. Okay, first you have zinc metal. It's just zinc. So it's Zn plus, then we got to get copper 2 sulfate. So copper 2. Cu2 plus sulfate, everybody knows it, SO4 to negative. It's a one to one ratio. So, in that case, what we would deal with. Mr. Wiesner thinks you use responsible. It's like a potato question. Yeah, it's like a potato question. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now? No, not right now. Yeah. Yes, yes, right now. He's in need right now. He just needs to know how you get the student laptops connected to the printers. That's urgent. That sounds really urgent. Okay, tell him I can show him how to do it, but they probably have all his, uh, his computer set up to whatever you install on it. Once you yeah. shut them down, it completely wipes it. Okay. Because that's what happened with right. Miss Steffi. Right. I can show him. Okay, so I'm going to do the Okay. Well, okay. So, you, welcome to one-to-one -one ratios of CU. Mr. Holmes, you your you turn your he doesn't need me right now. I'm sure. Yeah, he does. No, he don't. He's got something to print. Well, I'm not just happy to have a man. No. Because you have to install the printer. But then when we found out whenever we were doing it, I was helping Miss Steffi do it. We would install the drivers on the computers. And whenever you turned them off, they have it literally set that it wipes it clean. Yeah, no. So it's like literally, like, you know, if you're in her class, don't ever save nothing to that computer. Because if you save it to that computer, then it's gone. Computer. You have to save it to a certain part of it. Anyway, so, in this, here's what you have to do. So you get this down so you realize here's one thing by itself. Here's A. And then you notice here's B and here's X. What you're looking at is the two that are common. The two that are alike. Metals or non-metals. So in this case, I have a metal here in zinc, and I have a metal here in copper. You're going to examine if the metals will change places. So in, in this, you'll have to look at your activity series. Here's the golden rule. Find both of these on the activity series. So that's why I'm getting them right. Sure. I said I'm going to give it to you. Oh. Let's, let's, let's flash back yes. when Mr. Hall said <laughs> that, that this Everyone. is what's going to happen. See, our quiz is on the front, it's going to be the periodic table, and then on the back, it's going to be the activity series so that you have this piece of information for the quiz. 
Got that. I literally, I will give you this. Because this right here, i got to be honest with you. Honestly, at the top of my head, I don't know. Like right now, if you ask me. Create a triangle with papers. I'm going to have to Google an activity series. So, in this, this is what you're looking at. You have to find zinc. So we find zinc, it's right below uh, manganese, and then find copper. Okay, so I got zinc here in the second box, and I got copper down here in the lower box. So this is the thing. We can't do it because we have to place it in the No, we can't. No. Yes, because more accurate ones are placed there. <coughs> Because if it's unreactive, then it would be replaced. Real quick. Go right ahead. <laughs> <coughs> no, I'm just waiting because I'm probably like going to answer a question. Everybody just pause and hold on and tighten down. So what's the question? <coughs> oh my gosh. What is it? It's a D block. Let's remember back whenever we did the D block things. I said there's three of them that hold a single charge. Silver, zinc, and I can't remember the third one. Oh, you can't even remember your chapter. You won't get mad at me. Now, come on. <laughs> now. I'll tell you what, if you want to, tomorrow I'll bring my degree from Marshall University that said that I know it. And no. look at it and say, this is what your goal is to get. I'll probably do it. Burn. Well, hallelujah. And guess what? I didn't get 100% on every quiz I took. People but make mistakes. Yeah. Hey. Okay. It was this is what you look at. Look at which one is higher up. In this case, if you look, zinc is higher up, which means zinc is more useless. Trash. Zinc is more trash. Time out on the field. <laughs> Gotta go to the first aid kit. Oh no, he's on his football. Fifteen yards. Sure. The way I mean, I roll through markers. A you guys are playing the sectional game. And if I bring you markers, can I have bonus? More bonuses? No. They got me. Okay, so zinc is more active. So we were playing charades just then, right? You were saying, like, zinc is trash. <coughs> Y'all are just playing charades. Yeah, I'm done. Copper is less active. <coughs> So in this, this is what happens. The more active element will replace the less active element. So in this case, zinc pops over here and pops copper out. So what happens is copper pops out here by itself. So zinc clips in here. I think I did that right. I did. Sulfate. And we're now, in this case, I would tell you, okay? I would tell you zinc 2. Zinc 1. So it'll help you. So I can tell you the charge so whenever you come here to predict the product, you can get this. It's a 1 to 1 ratio since the zinc is a plus 2. Sulfate's a negative 2, so you get zinc and so forth. Okay? Now, in this, just like before, you got to make sure it's balanced. Mr. Holmes. Yep. Silver, zinc, and cadmium are the three fixed charges. Good job. I just found that. Pretty sure cadmium. So proud of you, Carl. Would that be Nicholas? Nicholas, not. I will. Yeah. This isn't AP chemistry, so I'm not that worried about it. Yes, <laughs> All right, everything's one to one, so we are balanced. So in this case, this reaction will take place. Now I want to show you 
You also, yes. If we could see that it bounced, do we have to write the bottom? No, you, <laughs> listen, you don't even have to write this even if it's not. Okay. If, the, if you can balance it without writing that, that's fine. But this is the thing. It's got to be balanced. If it's not balanced, then it's wrong. But if you automatically look and you say, hey, it's balanced, then leave it. Can we just have some fun, like throw two? No. Okay, so in this, yes, but then you're just making more work for yourself when it comes to the mole ratio. It's but like whenever you have four mole. over two, can't you simplify but would it be that? Counted correct? Or two over four, can you simplify that? Would yes, it no, it would not be considered correct. <laughs> it's like in math class, right? It's as simple as it can get. Because the truth of it is, is I can put. 1,427,218,536 in front of every one of those and it's balanced. But then you just added stuff. What? Why are you saying fireballs on I'm just raring to go. Oh, who hurt you? I'm the guy who smoked it for me. Is that Mr. Wendell? You're a big kid. In this case, I want to show you in a situation where it's not always like that. It's not always going to have a reaction. So in this case, we're literally going to flip this. So in this case now, we now have copper plus zinc 2 sulfate. And this is where this chart comes in very good handy to you. Find copper, find Z. You just did. Which one is most active? <coughs> Z. So in this case, copper is less active. Will copper replace Z? No. So the correct answer is no reaction. So if it does replace then you have to give products. If it doesn't, you have to give me Will no reaction. Will that ever be the same like, <coughs> like the same? I don't know what word I'm looking for. Question, what did you put the asterisk in? Asterisk. Say that it was just a market. I don't know what I'm saying. All right, listen. You still got your question? Now what happened here, sir? <laughs> Flip of it. So if you can, like, if it's above the other one, and it can do something, like, then it can react. No, you get the product. <coughs> you get the product to show me a reaction. Oh. So I might find that what you're doing. What? It's not just you. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you make fun of me just suddenly. Not even suddenly. Hey, that one just There's no There's another one in the room that's just saying that it's Call on the so, I said it wasn't just you. There's three. Three for three. Did you call me out? No, he didn't just call you out. He did it to us two. I absolutely called him out. I called you out today because you were going to ask a question before we really jumped into this. Like, if you guys will chill and wait a minute and trust the process, this isn't my first year of teaching. I'm not the greatest teacher out there. I'll be the first to say that. But I figured out how some things work and operate. So let me do my thing, and then we'll see if you got your questions. If you do, then ask the question. Hey, I disagree with the thing you said in the beginning. What thing? You said you're not the best teacher. Oh. <laughs> so sweet. Suck up. <laughs> Alright, so here we go. You take cadmium 2.
to react with sulfuric acid. Why do I think of Cadbury? <clears throat> because Cad. Cool. You spell it right. It's M I U M. You know what? I would like to have me a big bowl of sulfuric acid right about now. There you go. Better for you. And sulfuric acid. Now, I want to point something out to y'all. Nobody has raised this question, but whenever we went through the uh, nomenclature, I had done something for you all to help you with just getting the nomenclature, getting a pattern down. We always did sulfuric acid. The reason I did that is because I didn't want you to have to be going from sulfate to go, wait, I put UR, why do I have to put UR there? And then not UR here, and why did it then? It's sulfuric acid. That was the proper name for it, just like it's phosphoric acid. Okay? If you have questions on I'll help you. It's just how it works, So in this case, you have to determine whether or not this reaction will take place. So we have cadmium, CD, plus... Sulfuric acid. Where's Caddy? And to see if it will react. Now, in this case, this is what you're looking for. Will this metal replace hydrogen? So, on this, find cadmium and find hydrogen. Is cadmium above hydrogen? then this will react. Yeah, now we got to get to the products. Mr. Hall, um, cadmium has a plus three. Did you already get rid of it up there? I'll just put the two there so that you guys... So we wouldn't bring it down? No, you wouldn't. Not in this case. <coughs> I wouldn't kill you guys on that if you did it. Technically, it's wrong. I have a question. Why would that be two? Because sulfuric acid is SO42 negative, right? Because sulfuric acid comes from sulfate, which is SO42 negative. So how many hydrogens you need to equal out for the charge? Two. Two. Oh, okay. So now in this, hydrogen is going to come off. Hydrogen will be released. Hydrogen is a diatomic. So it must be H2. So what does this mean? This means that it will be balanced. It is. Plus, cadmium, which is a plus two charge, and sulfate, which is a two negative charge. So two plus, two negative, it's a one to one ratio. So CD is a four. And it is bound. So let's say we have chlorine gas, so chlorine, plus sodium iodide. Mr. Hall, for uh, cadmium, that thing, that stuff, would you, would it be no reaction when you try to flip it back or? Yeah. Okay. Because hydrogen will replace cadmium. I just check and make sure. Okay, so in order for it to get the first. <coughs> the one by itself. Okay, it has to be above. Yep. Okay. <coughs> now, what if it, if it isn't with the jumping, but not the action? Yeah, if it's below it. If the one that's by itself is below the one that's already bonded, you just gotta put no reaction. Okay. That's good. That be good. Switch up. Like, would they always be the first two? Like, all by itself for the first part of the second time? Or would there be a case where it would be in the back? Like, It'll be in the back. It's in this case here. That's why I was doing this one. Give me three. Uh, 
uh, for what you're learning right now, though, uh, later on in your chemistry career, whenever you decide you want to major in chemistry in college, then yeah, you'll learn all about catalysts and stuff like that. So we got Corey. One a minute. Two. Would well, that bond now, Mr. Hall? No, now you Plus, what, what? sodium iodide. So Na iodide I. Will this react? Now, here's where the thing comes into play. What is looking to switch places? Is chlorine a metal or a non metal? It's a non-metal, so it's going to look to change spots with the non-metal, not the metal. So why would I have two? Because iodine comes from 17 column, has a negative one charge, and so it comes from first column, has plus one. In that case, the diatomic doesn't come in because it's bonded to something. So would the twos cancel out on the iodine? And the chlorine, that wouldn't be balanced. Yeah, you would have to balance. No, no. However many chlorine there is on the left, it has to be many on the right. However many iodine on the right, it has to be on the left. So iodine would put two Let me work it. Okay, so you look at activity series. This is the thing. Go to the non metals. Well, maybe it's the activity series. Glory so is higher than iodine, so it will replace it. So we will end up with iodine, which is a diatomic, so I2, plus sodium and chlorine, which comes from 17th column, has negative one charge. Sodium comes from the first column, has plus one charge, so Cl. And it's done. Now you throw a bunch of Everywhere. Not there, not, not there, not with the non-metal, by themselves. You just said throw a bunch of twos. Yeah. No, sir. Specific. In front, not the one in front of Gordon. But one, I, okay, I'll be specific for you. I would like you to Place a uh, two in front of the Are there. I'm not mad at the order you put. Okay. How you guys feel? Typically, metals replace metals and non metals replace non metals, but hydrogen is the exception. <laughs> metals will replace hydrogen. I want to claim that there's a specific thing that's not healthy. Alright, so here we go. Some people want it all. 
I don't want nothing at all. I ain't got. Study with Laura. All right, so. Then this, let's talk about replacement of a metal and a compound by another metal. In other words, you've already done this. It's not that bad. So let's say we have aluminum plus. Let's see what I said. Lead. PB and J. Lead to nitrate. Now, you give me the proper chemical equation for that. charge on the aluminum. The reason I didn't give it to you, bada boom, bada bing, there's aluminum, 13th column, plus 3. Well, that was a lot. That's what I was thinking. I thought you had to like, take this and divide it by this. Right. But is that even, Mr. Paul? Mm -hmm. So the nitrate and the reactants part. Well, we'll there's 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 two outside the system. Why is there three out there? That come from? What That's because the charge on the lead is plus 2. Does that mean we need that? Yeah. So why would we do that? It would not because the charge on the nitrate is negative one. So in this case, this lead, lead is plus two or two plus, and nitrate is negative one. The so one comes down for the lead, but the yeah, yeah, point, comes the down office. for the nitrate. So it has to be PB, <coughs> and you need two of these nitrates. So we got to put it in parentheses. Okay. It's the same so, thing over here, but it's not a two because the aluminum. No, I mean, like, by the lead itself, it's just PV, would it not? So, for oh, this okay, equation, Mr. Hall, yep. you know, we would have to balance this. Name. Yeah. So, I would like to buy a 3 and a 2. Two threes and two twos, actually. Ooh, pretty wacky, yeah. I would like to place a 2 in front of the aluminum. Okay. Do this. And first, let me do this so unless it doesn't feel bully. We need to slow down right now, Maddie, so that everybody else can jump ahead of it. I'm so proud of you that you are getting this and you're doing wonderful. <laughs> Good enough? Question. Yes. Why is it up there? This is why it shows up on the left and the right. So it's easier for me to balance it with me keeping nitrate together. Now you can break it into nitrogen and oxygen, but I don't like to. I like to do what's simple. I'm going to erase this so no, all this isn't running together. I didn't use a different color. 
I got a feeling they got like certain teachers of us that like we walk in the office and they're like, oh god, they're gonna ask for Mark. We talk about this on there like every week. Ask for friend Mark. <laughs> Normally, I like I can't remember who it was, but they brought me four, and literally I, I got one left. And when was that? Uh, a month ago. Oh, okay. The other day, you know, because I was about to sleep. Yeah. Well, Taylor and Chloe was like, we're going to make signs and make put them in her yard. And I was kind of all in the practice and all in her yard. And, and they went and did it. it. They went and done it. All right, so in this case, we got to get some balancing here. Now, in this case, we got this nitrate here on the left and nitrate there on the right. And this is the thing. When you got that two to three thing, remember the trick. Flip them over, swap them. That's a good way. Swap. So the three's going to come over here in front of this one. We're going to change the lead and the nitrate. And the two's going to come over here in front of the aluminum nitrate. So they'll change the aluminum and the nitrate. That'll give me two aluminums here. And that will give me six nitrates here. The reason I got the six is notice the three there. So the two times three is six. It's six nitrates. Now, if you did, if you broke nitrogen and oxygen up individually by itself, it's going to be different. All right, over here I have three lead and six nitrates because three times two. That's why we do that swap. Two times three is equal to three times two. So it'll automatically do it for us. Quick math. Now, so now in this, let's we'll go with the aluminum. Times it by two. I need a two over here on the reactant side. It gives me two aluminum. And then a three in front of the lead. So then we are now balanced and there's reaction. Tomorrow we will do double replacement.